Today, local students are protesting one of the country's biggest gun makers. And they're spreading their message with a provocative fashion show. WBZ's Michelle Fisher reports from the State House. As students across the state and country head back to class, one group is hopeful their back to school fashion show will make a powerful statement less about trends and more about the safety of our children. My son is a victim that has a statement. Manuel Oliver is busy making sure his son Joaquin didn't die in vain. The 17 year old was killed in the Parkland school shooting in Florida. Now his father travels the country with a message for lawmakers. It was my kid in February, but it could be their kid today or tomorrow. It, it could happen to anyone, anywhere, any school, any age, you know. Today, Manuel and his organization changed the ref in Boston for a provocative back to school fashion show. The models were dressed in bulletproof vests and armor and even gas masks. And today I'm going to be very graphic, showing how this system is asking us to dress our kids before going to school or even before going to a restaurant or whatever. Students from across the state marched 50 miles to the Smith & Wesson headquarters in Springfield over the weekend with that same message. Manuel and his wife were part of the crowd. I'm 50 years old. I am not going to college. I am not stopping doing this till the day that I die. You can learn more about this organization and their fight against gun violence at their website, which is changetheref.org. Reporting from City Hall Plaza, Michelle Fisher, WBZ News.